Hi, I've been asked to do a little simple uh, how-to on the knit nail, and um, it's going to be non-product specific. So there's my tip there. I'm going to be using um, two colors of blue, and um, one of them is a UV gel paint that has a tacky layer and one is a UV gel paint that has no tacky layer. So it's uh, once it's cured you do not need to top coat it. I'm also going to be using a matte top coat soak off gel polish for um, to give the bottom nail a matte finish so that the design is going to pop. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to base my nail with my regular UV gel paint, okay? I'm using a soft brush, all right? And I just want a nice even coverage, all right? Let that sit for a second. It'll smooth out. It's a gel paint, so it acts like gel. So it doesn't run. Usually the gel paints don't run. Um, you could use a gel polish for the base. Um, I'm just going to clean that up a little bit. Okay. Just for the sake of the looking nice. Okay. Neatness matters, yes. So there. So I'm gonna cure this for the amount of time that whatever product you're using suggests. Alright. So again, you could use a gel polish or any kind of UV paint to do your base. Cure that for the allotted time. Then what we're going to do is I'm going to do two different techniques on um, the snail. All right. I'm going to do half of it is going to be... Um, With the with the sand product, velvet sand, whatever you're calling your sand product, and then one will be just with the um, the paint. So while I'm curing that, I'm going to explain to you that I you can use a shiny top coat. I like the um, matte top coat because it gives you that contrast between the base nail and the uh, design. All right. When you're doing a ge geometrical design and you want even spacings and stuff, I use little dots to uh, pinpoint highlights in my design so that it comes down straight or you know across or whatever. All right, because Sometimes, you know, you can get a little off, and then if you're making a line, it, it, then the finished product is crooked. So I use little tiny dots of the paint to um, highlight my design. The sand, um, people use a lot of things. Um, I think everybody knows what the sand is. Um, it's this little fine, um, oops, little fine, um, very, very fine, very softish, um, powdery, that gives you a texture like sand or velvet or whatever um, you want to call it. Okay, so my base nail is uh, cured, and I'm going to go ahead now and top coat this. And I'm top coating it with a matte top coat for a gel polish line, okay? And it's easy as that. 
Okay. Cure that. According to the directions of whatever product you're using. And I am using a thumb palette. And you're going to want to want to use um, a very small, fine liner brush. Okay. Um, not you want one that's going to carry enough paint, but if you're doing um, the sand, you want to leave enough negative space in between your designs so that the sand doesn't take up that space and then just end up in like a big blurry blob of sandy nail. Okay. So um, you want to keep that in mind when you're doing your design. The negative space is, is as important as the de design space. Um, so you want that to shine through also. And um, you want an ample amount of paint so that you have a little bit of height, but these are not going to be, you know, three like typical 3D. This is like flat 3D nail art. So it's very wearable. Most clients can wear it with no problem. Nothing's going to snag or, or um, get caught in their hair or whatever. Um, and if you're using a, um, the gel paint with no tacky layer on top that doesn't need to be top coated, then you're done. Um, I find that if you have to top coat the knit nail you lose a lot of the dimension so you really want to look for a gel paint that has no tacky layer and you and it's done okay and there's a couple there's a few out there so there's our um, nail that's been top coated and cured and now I'm gonna wipe that off with some alcohol to get because that will still have a tacky layer but it'll be matte when it's when it's cleaned off, and you want to, you don't want the tacky on there because the sand will stick to everything. That's not good. You want so you can see that it's starting to get dull, and so that in itself is a cool look. It's just a, more of like a satin shine. Okay, so now we're going to get down to the design part. And I'm going to just move my sand out of the way a little bit right now because we're going to work on the design. And um, this can be a little tricky because you're working on a, you know, a monotone. You're working with, you know, color on colors that's basically the same. You can use um, contrasting colors too. But so what I want to do is. I'm going to use this uh, blue and I'm going to go down the side and I'm just making little dots. Okay, I'm going to go down and I'm just making just little tiny dots. Just little marks. And it, it's, you know, it can be tricky, okay? So that's how we're, where I'm going to do my design. All right. So I'm going to use my liner brush and I'm going to make like a V. Okay. And I'm going to make another, I'm going to fill it in a little bit more. I'm going to make a V. Almost like a heart, sort of, but a V. Okay. You see that? Oop, that's too much. And so then you can you can start building your design. So I'm going to do that all the way down. Okay. Okay. Just trying to go to the middle. Let's see what I'm doing. I'm doing this on an angle because I'm trying to tape it. So, but you know, you can 
you can make a little boo-boo and then you can fill it in or go back and see what you know when you get the design done what you like want to change and again it's gel so you know what's nice about it is if you do make a mistake like on this if you didn't like the design then you could go ahead and wipe it off and start all over again so it's practice 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 and learning designs and practicing and then making learning a new design and then practicing some more okay and I'm just gonna do kind of a simple one here for this demonstration all right so then I want a dot at each call it a wing okay dot 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 okay I want a little more so I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bigger dot now you can use a dotting tool but I find the brush works because you you know otherwise you're kind of making a dimple and you don't want a dimple you want a more of a Hershey kiss okay all right and then you can do things like okay whatever your knit design is whatever your okay Alright. Oops, and then it's going to come off. Yeah, right. Alright. So, there's your sort of knit design. Okay? Now, you can get as crazy and as intricate as you want to, but now we're going to before we cure that, I'm going to take my sand on one half of it and I'm going to sprinkle it on one half, okay? Hopefully I can get it on one half. This is a little tricky, but... Okay. All right. So you can see one of half of it has sand on it. And I'm going to go ahead and cure that for two minutes. And that nail will be done after this. So knowing the properties of your gel and what they can do is very important for doing gel nail art knowing if you have to top coat something to make it for it to last or if you can use the gel paints um, without top coat and it will give you different looks so that's important and then using your contrasting now we have all these matte um, matte top coats and things which are great and that gives you more contrast so you know you can do a very simple design and still can look very intricate and and complicated and it's and because your background is different um, again you could you do the opposite you could do a really shiny background and then the um, gel paints without a top coat are going to be more of a sheen they're not going to be as shiny um, and that depends on what you're using also so this is how you do the knit nail and um, I just look up different you know I've I've been a knitter for years so it's not hard for me to think up of designs cables stitching and all of that but you know you, d you look it up and you make it your own own combinations and um, you can go really wild with it and really be fun I love the knit nails it's winter um, I think they're super cute and um, you can also incorporate your uh, flocking um, or your sand would flocking you would use the same way exactly the same way you would sprinkle it on um, your wet gel and then you would um, cure it and then dust it off so it, it depends on what you're using of course but um, same idea same concept and it's almost done then we take a nail soft nail brush and 
and depending on what you're using for your um, sand um, or flocking will depend on you know the finished product but you can see there that this side has a sheen to it um, it's fairly shiny but not super shiny like if you top coated it and then you have the the um, actual fuzzy sweater kind of looking side Whoops, I just put a whole bunch of sand back on there. Okay. And that's your knit nail. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day.